Welcome to lesson three of our five lesson part of self-defense. Last week we looked at defensive situations, this week we'll look at offensive strikes. Starting in our stance from last week, Ash is going to go into a stock standard boxing pose, bringing her non-dominant hand to her temple while her dominant hand just below her chin, ready to strike. While there are a lot of different martial arts strikes around the world, we're going to focus on three. Today we'll start with the hammer fist. So Ash using her dominant hand, using the bottom of the fist, is going to strike downwards on top of Corey's head. However, if this is not possible, we can always strike for the vital organ of Corey's nose affecting our opponent's breathing. So where possible, strike into the top of the head or top, in, the top of the nose using that downward strike position. Our second strike will be the ear clap. So for this strike, Ash is going to cusp her hands and outstretch and clap them over Corey's ears. This strike will dis and disorientate your opponent, making them dizzy and giving you a second to launch back into that hammer fist attack. Our third and final strike will be a sternum punch. Ash is going to start this technique with a backwards hand slap with her non-dominant hand, followed by a strike with her dominant hand. And once again, backward fist strike into a punch right to that sternum, keeping in mind that sternum's right in the middle of the chest. It's important to keep in mind these strikes are for defensive purposes only. And once our attacker is hindered, we should escape and call for help. Join us next week where we'll explore leg strikes and how to use leg strikes in a defensive situation.